what advice, you know, so if, if there's somebody who's brand new to sales management uh, on this, listen to this podcast say, what advice would you have for brand new sales managers? I'm going to say that the sooner you start to develop an authentic management philosophy that's unique to you, um, uh, you know, the better. I think it's more or less like it's easy to get wrapped up in so-and-so does it this way and, and this person does it that way. Um, I think identifying your own unique, you know, philosophy is, is best. And then you, you have that as a foundation and you just keep developing it and involving it. Um, and, and you need that at the core so that you don't lose yourself. Uh, it's, it's very easy to run around, um, you know, trying to, you know, I guess, please various teams that, that have demands on you, get your team to, to focus that then you don't realize that like, I need to put my oxygen mask on first and, and check that my well being and, and that I know, you know, that this feels true to me and then just kind of follow on um, that trajectory. And, and even if it's, you know, something that may be a little controversial or different than senior leadership, it's almost like I have at least in my back pocket that this is ideally what I would love to test. And while I'm going to adjust to, you know, the process and what's in place, um, uh, when I get the opportunity to test something that feels unique to me, um, and I think could be successful, um, I will. And I think if you don't identify your own personal authentic management philosophy that that becomes harder to do later on. <laughs>